Hi, I'm Chris Tapiris. So I'm coming to Channa Channa Channa. Be prepared. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of my podcast. We have a special guest today all the way from California. We have Christo Perez of Outcross. Hi Chris. <laughs> hi, hi Channa. So, how are you? I'm good. How, how about you? Um, I'm also doing pretty good. <laughs> so, how's the situation there with this, uh, you know, the lockdowns, uh, COVID and everything? Uh, actually, uh, nowadays... Uh, seems like the things are back to normal <laughs> mm. but <clears throat> the thing is like uh, uh, three four months ago it was so uh, so bad mm, so but now the things are getting better but i don't know actually i don't watch that that much uh, news <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow it's so sad that the this total uh, pandemic thing so it's took all over the world so mm. so it's it's so bad time in the world so anyhow we are moving on with the stuff so yeah. <laughs> i think you have seen seen how worse over here so it's kind of worse like two three months ago i think that now it's becoming more normal now mm. yeah so so, so, <laughs> so did the the pandemic like give you time to you know work on new music right uh, you uh, know actually, uh, yeah during the lockdown period like uh, the stay home order period uh, actually i tend to uh, do a lot of uh, tend to do a lot of studying actually i was using my internet and i was just uh, reading a lot of stuff about the, the computer audio and mixing techniques and stuff so actually it helps helps me to be a better better person <laughs> so uh, yeah i was quite did a lot of study and yeah I did some researches and you know some experimental music stuff yeah <laughs> so Christo, i'm i'm uh, also from nigambo and then uh, sri yeah. lanka so i remember going to your studio with big doggy <laughs> yeah that's why so big doggy he he is a very <laughs> he, he was actually he is a very good friend of mine so so yeah, I think it should be back in two thousand six or something. Yes, around maybe two thousand five or two thousand six. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's been like fifteen years ago, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the time seems to be going very fast, though. No? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So actually. What did we talk back then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. It. I I think he was doing working on a song or something. So he wanted to like he asked me to just come with him and then. Uh, oh, just I I just asked, asked some comments from you guys like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So. Video and all. Yeah, but but Doggy actually re- released his album recently, right? Have you yeah, listened? Yeah, I, I, I actually I listened to that thing uh, on Spotify. Actually, it's a very good album. The songs yeah. are very interesting. I like the style. It's it's, it's very best of Doggy. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. So so, Christo, can you tell me a little bit about your you know growing up? How did you get interested of uh, like music? <laughs> actually, it's a it's a kind of. Uh, mm, Okay, I'll I'll try to explain it as uh, as short as I can. <laughs> so uh, the thing is, uh, like my father, uh, my father is a kind of musician. So uh, his name is Damaso Spiris. Mm. So I think you might know him because uh, he used to play with a lot of bands. So he's he's been in the field for like uh, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Oh, and he's a very uh, huge, uh, huge fan of uh, John Lennon, the Beatles stuff. So I, I, I can remember that he used to play a lot of songs, like Beatles songs. Uh, yeah, like I, I, I tend to listen a lot of seventies and eighties songs. Right. So my childhood was like that. So because it's always the music were there. It's always music. So my dad is playing guitar. So he's singing. So we can listen to a lot of stuff. So it's it's been always I was because uh, um because I was in bit in the middle of music thing. Right. But the thing is, I uh, I I got never involved in music. 
<laughs> so I was just separate from that. I, I, I just did my studies and so, and I, I did uh, like, uh, when I was doing all levels, uh, I studied uh, Western music theory, mm. but on that also, I'm not that good. <laughs> So actually, I was in my childhood is totally uh, like the music is out of my brain because it the music was there. So I I because it, it influenced me after some time, but because those days it doesn't bother me at all. Mm. So actually, what happened was uh, after my A levels. So uh, I was so my dad uh, he needs to uh, he needs to put up a studio. So he's uh, looking forward to uh, for a studio. So he needs to want to do a studio there. So um, so then uh, that's the point I'm coming to the scene. <laughs> right. Because that that the moment your computer after the barai, technology and everything. So so that's why that what happened. So here I'm going to help my father. So. I'm a technical engineer now, so right, right. <laughs> like that. So I was doing the technical part, and my dad was doing the engineering part. So he was he was doing the mixing part and mastering so stuff. So I just so like that. We work uh, like we work like two years like that. Mm. So by the time I got interested, and so I started doing stuff, and my father saw that, and he was like. Okay, son, go ahead. So you can handle the whole operations and like that. So he he gave me the full authority the, for the studio. So that's how I ended up uh, with the studio in 2003, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so since then, so I was working in my studio. So I, actually, I involved in a lot of projects and stuff. So th I think that's the that's the briefly explanation explanation about that. <laughs> right. So, can you tell me a little bit about the artists you work back back uh, in Sri Lanka? What what what? Who were the artists that you were involved with? Uh, actually, um, actually, I work with a lot of artists. Actually, I, it's hard to remember all of the right. <laughs> artists I work with. But the thing is, uh, mm, so starting from two thousand three or so. So I first I started with Chinti. I think that's why you call me a hip hop. A producer. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. So actually, I have to tell you this. So uh, every time, uh, like in the beginning, uh, I actually I didn't do much uh, producing stuff. So I used to be their engineer. So right. I used to work. Uh, I used to work with Chinti as his engineer. So uh, we work like one and a half years or two, almost two years, I guess, uh, two thousand three, two thousand four. So actually. It, it's it it was a very beautiful time. So we were so young and you know uh, filled with a lot of energy. So uh, that's that's how how I started. So mm. I first I started with Chinti. So after some time I uh, I moved on with uh, Anton. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a like a kind of sad story, but yeah. So I worked with Anton, and after that. Uh, after three, four, uh, yeah. Uh, do you know uh, Dinesh Super Singer? Yeah, I know Dinesh. Have you heard of him? Yes. Yeah, so I used to Is work with him. Yeah. yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, I remember Dinesh Super Singer. I remember he used to go, uh, he had a guitar in, in his back and he was riding <laughs> yeah. the motorbike, right? So, yeah, I, w I was there. Uh, so, I think now he's a very popular guy in Sri Lanka. So, right. very very talented guy so the thing is uh, at the startup so when he's uh, trying to start start as a professional guy i was there with him so that's all cuz it's the beginning of be beginning of all of these people mm. so we were there so we are, we we, are, we team up together like chinti dinesh uh, there were so many names so <laughs> so uh, actually i worked with uh, dinesh for like uh, again another 3 4 years right with him, I did a lot of teledramas, a lot of programs and stuff. So I used to be his engineer and all. So the thing is, <clears throat> so mainly uh, for like four or five years, I used to be the engineer, actually not a producer. Right. So I, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing because I never been to the music part. So after a while, like after 2006 or seven, I started to produce stuff. So uh, 
I think uh, you might remember there was a song called Fear. Do you know that? Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, yeah, yes. I think if you if you were with Doggy, you should have. <laughs> 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 so that's that's the first song I ever did. Right. That's the first song I did uh, with Anton, Doggy, and yeah, three of us. So that's how we started the Fear that time. So actually, uh, comments <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so I think my then TNL aka uh, homegrown note, uh, it, it's been there for like two, three weeks in the first number one place. Right, right, right. Like that, yeah. So after a while, so I was working with uh, some other producers like uh, um, Chaturanga Disila. He, he's also, uh, you never heard of him? No, I, I, I don't remember. Yeah, you, sh- you should know him because he, he's uh, still working with a lot of artists because he, he, he used to do a lot of uh, hit music. Right. So, and Sampath Fernandepulle. You should know him, Sampath Fernandepulle. He's a good lyrics writer. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Netherworld, he, he used to have a band called Netherworld. Oh, no, 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 no. no. That, that is different that, Sampath. That's, oh, yeah, <laughs> I have to mention him. That's a different character. That's Sampath Vimala Chandra. Right, right, right. All right. So, yeah, I'll tell you about Sampath. She, that, that Sampath. Sampath Vimala Chandra. Actually, I should mention him as my guru. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh, one influenced me a lot. Because uh, back then, uh, that's, that's, that's how I get to know Doggy. That's through him. Right. So, the, the thing, there was a band called Netherworld. I think they had, they had like five members. Yes, Sampath, yes. Uh, there was another guy called uh, oh the Ashan guys, I think yes, uh, Ashan. he's a well-known yeah, actor now. Yes. So he 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 also on that band. So Sampath, Ashan, Janit, Doggy, and there's another guy called uh, Dinesh Kaditwaku. Dinesh so that's Kaditwaku. the band. Yes, that's, yes. that's the consist of band. So actually, we did a lot of songs over there because Sampath was the producer, so he was doing a lot of. Uh, production stuff and he's a very creative guy so i think at that time that that should be around 2002 or 2003 he's the only person who capable of doing mu- uh, computer music around nigambo right no one no one no one does that so that's why <laughs> that's why i'm saying he's the guru of mine so <laughs> so he teach me a lot of things so uh, <laughs> basically uh, that's how we me doggy and everyone so uh yeah like that so we were together that time so those days <clears throat> around that years that was the time that you know this uh, sort of a sri lankan hip hop scene was coming up yeah, and more popular up. but i think it was like mostly it was in colombo and then the other place was nigambo right because yeah that's true <laughs> Yeah, we, we actually we used to produce a lot of stuff with uh, I team up with Anton for some time because uh, uh, there's another band you should know it the the, the Born Free Doggies band. Yeah. So <laughs> that's actually uh, the actually me and Anton started that me right. and me Anton and Doggy together. So because uh, uh, after uh, yeah like uh, I think it's. Uh, should be 2005 so me and anton were trying some tracks and all all the things mm. so we were trying to do some experimental stuff in hip hop so that's how we uh, come up with the uh, born free cuz i put the name born and anton said it's going to be free so <laughs> that's born how we put together the name <laughs> so after a while uh, anton and doggy team up uh, separately and i i was doing something else so that's we separate a little bit uh, I separated from the band a little okay. bit for a while, yeah. So <laughs> like that. So anyhow, it's so fun. Those days are so fun. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 kind of sad what happened to Anton, right? It's it's yeah. Tragic. In, uh, in two thousand six, he passed away. So it's uh, actually it's a uh, totally uh yeah so bad. It's I think it's hard to fill up his position. Yeah. He's he he was a very creative guy. I'm a talented person and a good friend of mine. I think actually, I think there, there there's a place. Uh, have you do you know that there's a there was a place in uh, Jetpin Blue. There was a small cafe uh, a cafe over there. Do you know that? Uh, most called, most uh, probably, but I don't remember anymore because it's I you know it's so long already. <laughs> yeah, 
are there in in uh, in uh, next to the jet plane blue there was a small cafe over there there because in the morning time we go every time we go over there we drink nest cafe and you know sometimes we uh, eat like uh, this malupang and everything because <laughs> it runs by some jet plane, uh, uh yeah i think the jet plane chefs so right. used to go over there with anton me doggy always over there because when we, do, we when we do a recording and also when we get a break, so we go over there. So <laughs> we have a lot of sweet memories over there. So right. that's that's why Anton, everyone, yeah, it's it's so sad about Anton. So yeah. we miss him. Still, we miss him. <laughs> so, so what's what's your thoughts? Like, I mean, I know you're quite humble in this sense, but you are part of that uh, sort of that pioneer generation, right? In Sri Lanka. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The thing I'll. Uh, Talking about uh, artists, so yeah, I, actually I did l- work with a lot of artists. So it's uh, actually uh, so-called professionals. I I used to work with a lot of professionals. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, while I was uh, working with Dinesh, so sorry, I'm recordings. Actually, I can't remember all the names and the stuff. Like, I was in the field for like 20 years now. <laughs> so, that's the thing. So, I'm just, uh, yeah, like, it's like that. Right. So, Krista, when did you settle? I mean, when did you came to the U.S.? Uh, actually, uh, I came to U.S. back in, uh, in 2018. It's almost two years now. All right. Yeah, so it, it took some time to settle here because it's a new place, a new environment, new people. So, it took some time. So, now I'm uh, getting, getting back to the normal <laughs> image. <laughs> So let's see. I, I think I will be able to do some more stuff in the future. So let's see. <laughs> so so settling in the US, so uh, you're, you're setting up your own uh, studio there or what's happening? Yeah, yeah. actually I have my own studio uh, in my home mm. and uh, that's my own personal setup and I, I'm working with another uh, studio in Long Beach. So uh, there's a guy called uh, David. David, mm. uh, I forgot his first name, uh, last name. So, yeah, like that. So, uh, I'm using, uh, I'm doing my personal studio and same time I'm working with another guy. So, yeah, that's how I move around a little bit here. <laughs> right. So, uh, I, I I mean, although we were like connected on Facebook for some time, but I yeah, recently, I you, yeah, you, you know. Been in my Facebook for like 10 years now. <laughs> More than that, I think. Yes, I, actually, the, the only, the, the <laughs> The thing was, uh, there was a friend of mine called, uh, there was a friend, yeah, his name is uh, Dulip Kotlin, I think. Yeah, he, Dulip Kotlin. He, yeah. he a classmate of yours. Yes. Right? So, he, he used to uh, work with us, so he is doing lyrics. Yes, yes, yeah. Now, he, he got friend with me and and I, I think he... He, uh, once uh, we were like gym buddies, we we are we were we both going to the gym together <laughs> sometime. <laughs> so he always mentioning your name. I don't know why. When he was saying things, he always says, "There's a friend. I have a friend called Chana. He's in Philippines and like that." I was like, oh, "Okay, all right." So that's how I remember you. <laughs> As a friend of uh, Dilip Kotlin. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, like so that. Christo, Christo, you. Uh, so you have your outfit called Outcross. Can you tell me a little bit about out? Yeah, the Outcross out is the, my my how to say that's my new interface. <laughs> so actually, Outcross is kind of a, like I'm trying to do my experimental stuff. Right. So I want to do something new always, as always. So the Outcross is my new image. It's going to be uh, I'm trying some new experimental music like. Um, putting together pop and EDM music. Maybe I will add some acoustically uh, support instruments also. I don't know what's gonna, gonna be it, but uh, I'll keep, uh, it's kind of experimental music what I'm going to do. 
Right. So, <laughs> so whatever you, you want to know about that. that yeah. So you it. you put out and you put out your for like first single, right? Destiny. Yeah, that's my yeah, that's my uh, first single uh, with uh, Joy Grace and uh, Tommy Beard. So actually, uh, I should tell you that because uh, so after coming to US, that's my first song mm. working with uh, US artists. So it's been a, like it 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 was a very good experience for me because because uh, uh, Tommy be especially I should mention Tommy Beard. So he gave me a, like a good 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 support as of like sometimes he gave me a lot of advice and stuff because he he actually he's a very uh, pioneer person here. He used to produce for a lot of labels. Right. So, yeah. So I'm so <laughs> I'm so blessed to work with him. So actually, the kind of more honda ego, yanda teri na kyan ne, especially Joy Grace, everyone, mama alut artist, independent artist, kine kiya la, so they never hesitate to work with me. So I'm so glad. So how did you meet uh, Tommy Beard? Ah, uh, Tommy Beard actually, uh, I was, as I told you, I'm working in the Long Beach studio. Right. So they, I, I met them over there. So. we used to work with some uh, together with some projects so i got idea so why don't i do a, pr- a production with these guys so that how i that's how we team up right so krista what's uh, what's yeah. your plan well, so i know that this covid thing really affected a lot of uh, yeah, people so but uh, yeah, what's you trying to do for the next couple of uh, months uh, Mm, uh anyhow the thing is uh, so i'm going i'm like intend to uh, going uh with my new name outcross so i'm intend to produce some new music within another yeah hopefully end of the year i will release an, another single so like that so i will keep producing stuff and you will get new stuff here uh, every day <laughs> every uh, every each day what do you what's your idea about this you know when you started and at that those days you have to uh, record it you have to cut a cd and you have to put it in radio yeah, that's all it is i should mention the mention this because those days back in 2003 actually getting uh, like absorbing the knowledge is a huge problem because right. we, we didn't had any computers no network oh, sorry sorry we had computers <laughs> we had computers <laughs> but no internet right so, so there is no way to get knowledge because the only way is like uh, reading some magazines and and the other half is like uh, trial and errors so uh, but <clears throat> anyhow we did that cuz and the other thing is like cuz uh, in sri lanka now they have a lot of uh, institutes as well as so it's a good opportunity for newcomers cuz they have they have access for their knowledge mm. So working back then is so hard. I I, I can remember because uh, I because uh, we I didn't have that money to go abroad and study, so it was so hard trying trial and errors, re- reading some magazines and stuff, so getting knowledge. So and yes. back and back then the audio software was quite expensive also, right? Yeah, it, it was expensive that time because so buying an interface is a dream that time actually. <laughs> <laughs> when i was uh, back in 2003 i had a, a interface called uh, sound blast or G- or dg creative uh, from the creative family right. so buying that is a very big thing <laughs> <laughs> but, but now uh, now the newcomers and all new people have access to various interfaces and stuff so actually they are blessed yeah then <laughs> <Dennis. laughs> <clears throat> So uh, the other thing is like now that there are platforms like Spotify, Apple and Music and Amazon Music so it's easy to put out your music right before Yeah that's right music. yeah that's right they, they have more access to the the technology and it's easy to stream stuff so back then we didn't have nothing so we <laughs> we have to rely on the media <laughs> Yeah, the so only only chance story. was like maybe one show on the radio and maybe one program on uh, TV, right? Back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. It's like a, I think, uh, uh, yeah, just I think there was only one chart show, the most popular chart show, the that what 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 it called? Uh, Rasri Sigi. Rasri Sigi, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only one for like two three years. <laughs> 
then they had like a i think they they also had like this hip hop uh, kind of uh, show right I mean, looks look like look, kari mo look, kari look like yeah 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 looks like <laughs> looks <laughs> like <laughs> it's amira yeah yeah it's atara porti gane dibbe dibbe na ana mot so what you uh, we on the uh, i know i mean you although you're the you're in the states but you keep track of what's happening in the sri lankan music scene yeah or? actually all as always because uh, that's that's my thing so uh, i'm always keep tracking on stuff what's going on sri lanka so i always check my face because in my facebook there are a lot of sri lankan artists right. so i always i'm checking my feeds and i know what's going on i i see a lot of new faces coming on and a lot of guys are doing productions and stuff so i'm so happy about that actually very happy about the the music trend uh, happening on sri lanka yeah <laughs> uh, except uh, one one side <laughs> you know what i am yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, i mean, no. <laughs> I, mean i think yeah, i mean uh, you you're not like very frequently active in social media right i mean i don't see you posting like a lot yeah yeah that's that's <laughs> that's how that's, that's who i am so right. I, i'm basically active in facebook not not that active i right. actually i'm not i'm not doing uh, i'm not posting stuff every, every day and like that but i i just keep in track and i just check my updates and all but uh i don't want to like uh, Okay, <laughs> <laughs> no because okay, okay. Mo- i mean 90% of that whatever comes out on those feeds is useless right because it's all political yeah, all this really, uh, right. nothing really you know yeah, it's useful totally, totally it's like 90% is uh, all about gossip <laughs> <laughs> gossip and yeah, all these political you know political stuff yeah so that's why i'm not using uh, facebook that much but i I'm in uh, Instagram. Though. I'm a little bit active in Instagram. I think. You are, are you in my Instagram? No. Yeah, I think I'm following you. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, you are. You are. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah. Man, sometimes I'm a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so, so, Christo, anybody you uh, you want to shout out to? Yeah, actually, I like to uh, give a big shout out to my dad because I'm here because of him. Because he's the one who created. Uh, this image because he's the one who helped me to be a b- better person like a better engineer so first of all i have to give a shout out for him <laughs> my dad right. that's a series and all the artists all the friends who who with me the all the bad times and the all the bad and the good times so there were so many guys who worked with me so it's hard to mention all the names so anyhow they all gave me a tra- like a huge support so i am here because of them so i should i should mention that <laughs> <clears throat> so christo it's 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 great that we actually talked and uh, i mean i'm really proud that uh, you know someone from my hometown is uh, doing well yeah, actually i'm I, I, actually i'm honored actually i'm totally honored so it actually thank you for asking me to be in <laughs> to uh, to to be in this uh, in uh, this podcast actually i i i should thank you not you <laughs> <laughs> you do you should not thank me <laughs> so uh, uh, you know looking forward to your new music uh, keep making sure? good music and then uh, hopefully maybe you can uh, I, i i don't know if you're working on it but maybe you will start uh, collaborating with our guys back home right so like- oh, yeah definitely we'll we'll got to do some new stuff so i'm going to i'm definitely going to collaborate with them in the future so let's see we, we'll do some new stuff so because uh, i think uh, two three years back doggy was calling me he, so he badly wanted to do a song but i was so those days i'm totally messed up with my stuff <laughs> <laughs> so i didn't get that much time so that's what happened so anyhow in the future we will continue doing more stuff right. actually keep uh, how to say keep keep your heads up <laughs> so christo christo tell everyone uh, how they can follow you on social media uh on social media so you can follow me on my uh, actually uh, i have uh, my outcross page it's just outcross mm. and uh, my in- on uh, instagram also outcross so basically you can search me uh, yeah just search outcross or christo peris i'll be there <laughs> and your and your music is already on spotify right 
yeah yeah uh, my music stuff is all, also in spotify so uh, by searching uh, outcross of christopedes you can uh, get uh, access to my stuff okay so christo uh, okay have a great evening and then uh, maybe we can talk again some day soon <laughs> yeah, definitely we will we'll do a, like another one maybe <laughs> yeah so christo thank you all right thank you much all right <laughs>